Have you ever thought about trying all 14 milkshakes at Tucson's Chocolate Emporium? Of course you haven't. They're $17 a piece. Who in their right mind would spend $250 on milkshakes? Today, we're gonna try every single milkshake at Tucson's Chocolate Emporium. But first, let's step into the enchanting history of Tucson's Chocolate Emporium, the short version. This restaurant is located in the heart of CityWalk at Universal Orlando, and it all started with these two people, Penelope and Jacques. Well, it started with Penelope, and then she made Jacques. It's kind of a wild story, you should really look into it, but essentially, Penelope loved chocolate, and she made Tucson's Chocolate Emporium, a steampunk-inspired chocolate factory that's equal parts restaurant, candy store, and milkshake bar. If you look at this restaurant and you're reminded of another famous chocolate factory, you're not alone. It's like Willy Wonka, just less dangerous. <laughs> and while it would be the coolest attraction at the parks if this place was known for turning people into blueberries, it's actually most well known for their milkshakes. And we have 14 of them to try, so let's get to sipping. Starting off with the confetti milkshake. This one is actually just a vanilla shake and then it's covered in sprinkles, but it has an entire piece of confetti cake on top. These shakes never cease to amaze me with how over the top they are, but I'm totally here for it. I actually haven't eaten anything yet today, so here goes nothing. The whole piece of cake started to like cave in while I was drinking it, uh, but it kind of just tastes like a vanilla milkshake. It's a good vanilla milkshake and it's very vanilla, but the shake itself isn't all that special. All the special stuff right up here. That's good. It's almost like you get two desserts in one because there's like a whole piece of cake up here and then an entire milkshake down here. They go really well together. The flavors of this one are amazing, but it is borderline cloyingly sweet. Like I feel like this was created with a kid in mind. I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. It's pretty good. I would order it again. Next up, we have the red velvet milkshake. So this is vanilla ice cream, a red velvet cupcake, raspberry sauce, rainbow sprinkles, topped with a maraschino cherry. I do love me a red velvet cake. I, um, it's one of my, Anna doesn't really like it that much, so I don't get it very often. I think it's the cream cheese frosting, which I'm suspecting that is. Uh, a lot of these, we haven't had. We're like we, we come to Universal all the time, but we've not had probably like 12 of these milkshakes. So it'll be interesting today. I didn't get a lick of that, Mike. Oh, it's a cupcake skewer. I, I, I didn't understand why it was so thick. I was like, man, this milkshake's crazy thick, considering we've been sitting outside for 20 minutes and it's had time to melt. It wasn't thick, it's plugged with with cake where they skewered it. Um, but yeah, it, I'll be honest, it kind of tastes like more raspberry than red velvet, and I think it's where this uh, raspberry sauce is in the bottom of it. Uh, but yeah, definitely like more of a raspberry taste than red velvet. I bet the cupcake tastes like red velvet cake. Should I like eat this with a fork or like, what's the, okay. Okay. Not the biggest fan of this one. Um, I like raspberries. I don't like raspberry flavored things. And this is more towards the raspberry flavored thing. So if you like raspberry flavored things, you'll you'll love this because even the cake has like some sort of a raspberry flavor, which is very odd to me. So out of 10, I would give this a four. Next up, we have the chocolate X5, which I later realized just meant times five. Uh, I thought it was like a cool, nickname like a slogan like x5 you know mustang gt chocolate x5 it's it's just times five let's try to count them so chocolate ice cream that's one chocolate twirl that's two chocolate whipped cream that's three chocolate chips that's four chocolate fudge there's fudge all through it that's five chocolate x5 times five as some would say <laughs> let's try it Okay, now we're talking. I love a chocolate milkshake. I'm a vanilla guy in most other realms of the world, but I love chocolate milkshakes. And this is like a dark chocolate milkshake. It's not like, sometimes when you get a chocolate milkshake, it just tastes like you put Hershey syrup in it. Not at all. This one's like a darker chocolate. Um, 
I'm so interested in these twirls. Is that what you'd call it, a twirl? Good chocolate. It's just good chocolate. It's interesting because this is the first one that we've gotten that isn't like an extravaganza on top like the other two. Like the other two had cakes and this is just like some chocolate stuff and it's still $17. I thought like the $17 was because of the the cakes on top, but it's just, they just like to charge $17. But as far as my ranking for this one, I would give this one an 8 out of 10. It's a good chocolate milkshake. I'm not even kidding when I say that we were like arguing over who gets to try this one. I guess Tyler can still try it like afterwards, but I'm the first. Uh, <laughs> it looks so good. This is the Espresso Buzz. So it's coffee, ice cream, espresso, espresso, chocolate beans, whipped topping with a maraschino cherry. I love coffee. I love coffee ice cream. So this is right up my alley. I am like dying to just shove my face in this. This thing does not disappoint on the espresso flavor. Like it hits you right in the face. I also already tried one of these like chocolate covered espresso beans. They're delicious. One of my favorites. I don't really know what these little cookies are. Like it makes no mention of them in the description, uh, but they look good. So we're gonna try those too. These things are kind of flavorless when you compare it to the milkshake. They're crunchy though, so not bad. Uh, this is one of the best like espresso or coffee flavored like ice cream milkshake things I've ever had. A lot of the time when you get coffee ice cream, it's like the coldness kind of mutes the coffee flavor if that makes sense at all, but I'm a big fan of this one. I'm going to give it a 9.8 out of 10. There might be room for improvement, but this one's really good. Ugh. It is, it is so hard to not sit here and just drink this entire milkshake because it is so good. But we have so many left, so I gotta put that one over there and move on to the Heavenly Hazelnut. Uh, this, this one is uh, with Nutella ice cream, hazelnuts, Nutella, cocoa powder, and whipped topping. I'll be honest, until like rather recently, Nutella wasn't my favorite, uh, but I think the Nutella crepe that they used to have kind of like opened me up to the world of Nutella. So I'm not crazy about it by itself, but I think in milkshake form, it might be pretty good. The uh, main flavor that I'm getting here is just chocolate. Like I don't get much that's like specifically Nutella. It just kind of tastes like a chocolate milkshake. It's not as rich and chocolatey as the chocolate times five was, which makes sense because there's not that much chocolate in it, uh, but it's good. This one might be like one of the least exciting milkshakes we've had just because there's nothing crazy on top. There's nothing crazy in it. Like it's just, it's just a good solid milkshake. I was going to rank this one a six out of 10, but it's not as good as the confetti cake that I already ranked a six out of 10. So I'm going to have to alter that one to a seven out of 10 because this one's not as bad as a five. So this one's a six confetti cake is a seven. I don't know about you guys, but when I go to an ice cream place, I judge them on one thing. It's not their vanilla, it's not their chocolate, it's their cookies and cream ice cream. And while I'm not sure if this is just cookies and cream, this is the cookie jar milkshake. Uh, it's vanilla ice cream with Oreo, uh, so that's cookies and cream to me, oatmeal, chocolate chip cookies, and whipped topping. It looks insane. Uh, I love Oreos. Oreos are America's favorite cookie, and Oreos are my favorite cookie. Uh, but the way that you judge an ice cream place is always cookies and cream. That's the right answer. Let me know if you disagree, but also I'm just going to disagree with you too. You see it sink? Watch it. Powerful mouth. It's a really good cookies and cream ice cream. Sometimes you just get like the cookie flavor, like the, the chocolate part. This one you get a little bit of that Oreo cream, which everybody knows is like S tier food. Like you can talk about everything that you want, but when you think about the most delicious cream filling, it's always just Oreo cream filling. We've all gone through a box of Oreos and just eaten the filling out of them and just tossed those cookies away because the filling's the best. But this is really good. I'm excited to try one of these cookies. That's a good chocolate chip cookie. It's gonna look kinda like the Apple logo now. Except the cookie. Uh, it's a good chocolate chip cookie. They have great desserts in here, so that doesn't shock me. As far as what I would rate this one, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. I really enjoy 
this cookies and cream ice cream. Uh, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites so far. Continuing our milkshake adventure, we are moving on to the brownie milkshake. I bet you can guess what's in this one. Uh, it is a Dutch chocolate ice cream, brownie, and milk chocolate swirl. Yep, uh, the name kind of describes it. Not any, is this the first one without any whipped cream? It is. Yes, that one just has whipped cream on the top, the chocolate one. It's all good. Before I even dig into this, I am worried. Once again, we have the skewer dessert. The old skewer dessert, and I'm afraid I'm afraid that the, the chunk is in the middle of the straw where it won't be able to be sucked through. It's definitely in there. Chocolate brownie was good. This one's very similar to the 5X chocolate. Um, it's a darker chocolate, but tastes more like a brownie batter, which I think is the right move. Uh, as far as the brownie, I, I, I had that chunk, but it was like covered in ice cream. I guess this is how we're going at it. Um, the, the way these are just like a dessert with a side of dessert, it kills me every single time. I love me a good fudgy brownie. Like a fudgy brownie is what I want. I don't want like the cakey brownies or whatever. I like the fudgy. I'm also a corner person. This one's around. The only way they could make this better is if it was a corner. I will give this one an eight out of 10 as well because it's so much like the X5. I'm about 50-50 when it comes to mid-flavored desserts, but I have really high hopes for this one, specifically because of these Andes mints that we have up front right here. I don't know if y'all have been to Olive Garden lately. Um, I actually have it myself, but my favorite part of the meal when I was growing up was when they would bring you out the cold Andes mints after you ate. I'm really hoping this milkshake just embodies that. Also, this is an Oreo ice cream sandwich, which is super exciting. This is the That's Mint Milkshake. It's minty chocolate chip ice cream, Andes mints, mint chocolate chip ice cream sandwich. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack on this one, but we're just diving right in. I'm going cookie first on this one. I can't ignore that cookie any longer. I'm so, I'm so curious. That thing is massive. All right, it's minty and it's messy. Mm. That's giving like Girl Scout Thin Mint vibes. Oh my gosh. It is so good. I, yes. Just yes. If the rest of the milkshake is that good, this one is going to be a home run. It kills me every time how it all just like caves in when we take a drink. This is really good. Like, and there's something about like mint desserts that are just kind of weird sometimes. This one is not that. I guess it doesn't have too much of like the artificial, like over the top mintiness. It is really, really good. The milkshake is a lot of mint flavor. I think this Oreo cookie right here is where it's at. I'd really love to know though, like, what am I supposed to do with the chocolate? I, am I just supposed to like... <laughs> it's not coming off. I, I guess that's just for looks. Ugh, this is so hard, but I'm gonna rate this one a 9.5 out of 10. Not as good as the espresso, but this is a daggum good milkshake. So up next we have what will probably be the most interesting milkshake we have all day. So here at Tucson's they do like seasonal milkshakes. So you'll have one for Halloween, for Christmas, different holidays they might bring one out. And this one is for the Lunar New Year. So this is the year of the dragon. This is a mandarin orange ice cream with lychee bursting boba, red and gold sprinkles, scorched marshmallow whipped topping, and a golden chocolate dragon. Boba in a milkshake scares me more than that dragon. I could have like move the dragon because it's it's in the way. That is all chocolate. That is just like solid chocolate. I don't know what just happened. Like I don't know what just happened in my mouth. It's, one of the, it, it's so strange. Like, I, I like it, but I don't like it, but I like it. 
but I don't like it. But I like it. Okay, that is an experience. Like, how he's shaking his head from behind the camera. That is so strange. I don't love the like mandarin orange ice cream. I'm not really like a fruity ice cream kind of gal, so that's not my favorite. The boba is great, but like when you pair it with the ice cream, I I don't know. I'm not sure those things should mix. There's just so much going on here. Like, I need to even try. Hey, that's pretty good. Like, it's so hard to rank because there's just so much. Like the ice cream with the boba, I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest fan. I'm gonna give that like a five out of 10. But this marshmallow topping, this gets like a 10 out of 10. This gets like a seven out of 10. So we're just gonna average those all up. I'm not actually gonna use a calculator. I'm gonna give like a 6.2. We're gonna go with a 0.2 out of 10. But I'm weighing it very heavily on this marshmallow topping. I would pay $17 for this. I wouldn't, but you get the symptom. I've been so excited for this one. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm a vanilla guy, and this is the Thrilla in vanilla. It's vanilla ice cream, vanilla pastry cream, vanilla wafers, a vanilla macaron, and a maraschino ch cherry. Uh, like, that's the only part that's not vanilla. I thought this was banana, like, pudding or whatever. I thought this was like a banana pudding thing because of the streak that's in it, but it's just all vanilla. That is absolutely insane. It's just a really good vanilla ice cream base, but then you get that little pastry cream, that the vanilla pastry cream, and it just takes it to a different level and it takes it to a totally different place. Like it's almost unexpected because it's a totally different texture than the ice cream. But uh, the thing I've been excited about, <laughs> we come over here and we get macarons pretty often. I'm gonna go on my rant, Anna. They had a candy corn macaron in 2019. And when we asked, they said they brought it, but they would bring it back, you know, every couple of years. We're in 2024, and I have not seen that macaron. I guess this vanilla one will do for now. Please bring it back. That's the good stuff. Macarons might be like the most underrated dessert ever. And I really believe that. I really believe that I could just eat those all day. I could make them. Apparently they're hard to make, but I'll just let somebody else make them. As far as my rating, 8.8. 8.8. Just everything all involved. Because it's just plain Jane vanilla, but it's really good vanilla. This next milkshake is one of the like three twosomes milkshakes that we've actually had before. But the last time we got it, we waited over two hours to get it. And it was after midnight by the time we started like drinking our milkshakes. And I remember not loving it, but it could have just been like the whole situation surrounding it. So I'm gonna give this one a fair chance. It is the Marshmallow Crisp milkshake. So it has vanilla ice cream, Rice Krispies, marshmallow fluff, whipped topping, and Rice crispy treats on top. So it's like a mix between like vanilla and marshmallow flavored. I am concerned that this might be my first one with the whole like plugged straw issue, but we'll see. All right, it's starting to all flood back to me. Like this one's okay. It's just kind of lacking flavor. Like I want it to either taste really vanilla or really marshmallow. Like if they just took like the marshmallow cream that's in this thing and just like mix that in to this milkshake, it would be so good. Like this one, it's not bad. There's just not much to it. This might seem harsh, uh, but I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10. I feel like they just need to pick a flavor and like really amp it up. I've just been informed that apparently because I tried this one, I have to attempt to fit this entire marshmallow in my mouth. Oh, oh you have go. to say a phrase, a catchphrase. <laughs> okay. I'm getting to the end of my leash with ice cream. Um, and this next ice cream sounds so strange. So this is the strawberry cheesecake milkshake. It has a sour cream ice cream, cheesecake, graham crackers, whipped topping, and a chocolate dipped strawberry. Sounds like something you'd put on a taco. Sour cream ice cream. I like, a, I like sour cream in my crunch wrap. I don't know about it in a, in a milkshake. But 
Here goes nothing. I really wanted to hate it, but it tastes just like cheesecake. Like that's all it is. It tastes tastes like a cheesecake filling, which makes sense. I, the name sour cream. I think they could sell a lot more if they were just like cheesecake ice cream, and not sour cream ice cream. Uh, I don't know if people are actually reading the descriptions, but if they are, business idea uh, to increase profits. I would probably just call it cheesecake ice cream. But let's actually try the. Uh, the cheesecake. I'm more of like a chocolate cheesecake or straw, like not so much a strawberry, like a caramel sauce on my cheesecake. But I do like cheesecake. This is the first time that the, the topping's been the worst part of it. Uh, not my favorite cheesecake I've ever had. Based off of what I anticipated this tasting like and what it tastes like, I've got to give it like a better score than I thought. Like I would give this like a six and a half. I think it's pretty good, uh, especially if you like cheesecake. Just, you've got to get around the, the sour cream ice cream part of it because it's it's not as scary as it sounds. Can't let that chocolate covered strawberry go to waste. I said this earlier, but I don't love um, fruity ice cream. And so this one may or may not be that great to me, but I'm going to try it anyway. So this is the right side up shake. This name is hilarious because it's uh, vegan pineapple upside down cake, brown sugar, caramel, pineapples, oat milk, whipped topping. So this is the first one that's vegan. The rest of them are all vegetarian because it's ice cream. Uh, but this one does not have like dairy ice cream in it. So it'll be interesting to see if like that makes a big difference in it, but I'm digging. I didn't get like any amount of pineapple in the ice cream itself. It was just really sweet. It tastes like a really good vanilla and I get a little bit of that like brown sugar sauce that's like all in it. So it tastes really, really good. I was surprised. Like you can't tell that it's non-dairy ice cream. It doesn't have any like weird flavorings or anything like that. I'm actually really impressed with this one. This cake is like trying to fall apart on us. I'm just gonna get a little bite. I'm purposely gonna avoid the pineapple because I don't like pineapple. But I'm gonna try the cake. <laughs> the cake itself does taste kind of fruity. It's got that pineapple taste, so I don't love the flavor. The texture of it is really good though. It's like moist and kind of like dense and rich. Even though the cake itself isn't really my thing, this milkshake is delicious. And I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Before we move into the next shake, I just wanted to touch back on this one because Anna, she's not, a, she's not a pineapple cake person. I am. This is insane. Like, the only pineapple upside down cake that I've had that might be better than this one on property is over at Strongwater. They have that uh, pineapple, I just dropped everything on me. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the upside down dessert over there, which is insanely good. But this one's right up there with it. Moving right along into our key lime pie uh, milkshake. So this one is also a sour cream ice cream, sweet condensed milk, lime juice, lime sugar, and lime garnish. I guess this is the lime. I thought it said lime ganache, and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Once again, I'm not gonna be afraid of this one. I, was, I would have been afraid of this one before I had the other sour cream milkshake, but not worried about it at all. Just a little 411, I love key lime pie. I think it's delicious, and now, that we live down here in Florida, I want it more often because it's a, it's one of those desserts that you could eat when it's hot. It doesn't, it, some desserts you just don't want. Like, it's too hot for certain things, but key lime pie always hits the spot. I like what they did here. One of my biggest concerns outside of the sour cream ice cream was that lime in ice cream could be kind of a weird note. It's so light. Like, it tastes like somebody's sitting over here and this other table just saying the word lime while I drink vanilla ice cream. There's just like a little hint of lime. And so I, I like that they did that because I was kind of afraid of what it might taste like. But if y'all have been to the parks, you know that there are some good key lime pies in the park. Like especially at uh, Thunder Falls Terrace, they have a great key lime pie. So I'm expecting this one to be delicious too. Not quite as good as Thunder Falls, but it's still good. It's, it's a good little piece. I I will say, just from looking at it, this is probably the smallest topping that we got. They may be running low on key lime pie, um, but 
This is the smallest one I've got. As far as a milkshake, there's just so many that we've had that I liked so much better. I'm probably gonna give this one like a oh, like a 5.9. I don't give it that six, because the six has been kind of a bar that we've had. So a 5.9 out of 10. This looks kind of insane. Like you <laughs> looking at it all in front of us, this is a this is a lot. Some of the standouts today for us were definitely this pineapple, what it was it, the upside down or the right side up. Yes. Pineapple right side up, the coffee one. Oh my gosh. That coffee one is just one of the best things I've ever had. And then just so happens that the cookie jar sitting right next to it was also very delicious. Those are like my three standouts of the day. Those were all amazing. I would completely agree with those. I am ice creamed out at this point and I <laughs> don't much. want another milkshake for quite some time. But if y'all enjoyed this, you can check out this video right here where we try everything at a restaurant that just recently reopened in Universal Studios. But thanks for hanging out and we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.